Hello! Hi, my name's Sean Sands. This is Kerbal Space Program. And this, this thing is Minmus. And it's got missions on it that we started doing last time. Uh, I did spin around the Great Green Ball a whole, whole bunch. And picked up a few of my missions right here. Um, that's my phone buzzing. Because why wouldn't it start buzzing now? Um... What is this? Suborbital trajectory. I think I have that thing on me. Anyway, uh, I also did a couple of just side missions to make some money. So we're good on... Good. We're good on money. Um, so if we can just grab a couple of these, as long as we're here, I think we'll call it successful. So we have two right here. Hillwig's Pit and... I forget what the other one's called. Um... Uh, GOGL. We'll make that our navigation and we will zip right above it. And the goal here is to get temperature readings below 7,200 feet, which we can totally do, which actually should be really easy. We won't, we won't even need to land uh, unless we just want to. We'll burn retrograde. We have the navigation on. Oh, no, oh, that's the RCS. I thought it was burning. I'm like, I'll do the burning. Thank you very much. Uh, we can really go a little closer. Our vertical speed is 500, so that's a good bit we got to burn off. Oh, oh, why? That's not what I, that's not at all. Oh, I see why. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Just wanted to get a little closer. And we will turn our SAS on. And we burn retrograde. And we'll turn it on. Now we only really need to get to 7200. So we're going to burn off that much speed. We still have some horizontal speed. Um, and this is GOGL. And we are at 54,000 meters. So. Forty thousand planets. Planetoid. The moon is still. We're going to want to burn off that remaining speed as we get under about ten thousand, and then we may need to fly toward our mission goal a bit. We are in the area. If we can get below seven thousand, and we are in both areas. So we need to be below 7.2. Did that do it? Oof. All right, we want to do want to burn off all of our speed because we want to target our next item. We actually want to be going up just a little bit. And we still have lots of Delta V in this tank, to say nothing of the next tank. All right, where's the next thing? Okay, so that is... Let's get some speed so I can look around the nap ball, because it looks like it is... What is relative south? It looks due south, doesn't it? No, navigation says it's over here. Stop fighting me. RCFs, be quiet. Uh, and that one is... Need to be below 6,600. So let's go up a little bit. And we actually want it over here on the nav ball itself. And we will get to our Apo apps and we will fly directly toward it or nearly directly toward it. Apo apps in 44 seconds. F 
flying above Minmus. Lots of electric charge. No worries there. And that should do it. Kind of warp to here. And we are in the sector. Uh, can we, would this work if we did it now? No, because we need to be below 6.6 kilometers. And that should do it right there, right? Yes, it did. All right, let's go back up. And what are, where are we going next? Can we make it all the way over here? Oh, of course we can. We want to do head. We do want to head back up. All right, where is our navigation? So that is going to be relative. Looks like it should be north for the most part. There's that. Where are you at? Got it. Got navigation. Oh, are we out of battery? No, there's the SAS. Is it? It's over here. All right, we will head uh, this way. So just kind of doing a tour around Minmus a bit. Head over to the night side for a bit. And we don't want our Apo apps to keep going up. This one will need to grab it at below 7.9 kilometers. Um, and we're way down there, so get up to our Apo apps. Oop, pass our Apo apps. We'll get over here, and we will probably need to make a course correction. Yep, it's swinging away from us, so we need to... Actually, what we need to do is burn off our, or probably easiest way to do it is just burn off our horizontal speed and just change our orbit from there. That's good. We should be able to move things around. I mean, I know it's not burned off. Turn those RCSs back on. And good grief. Now let's go up a bit. should get us there. I don't know if we'll, we'll maybe do one more after this. Uh, 
we'll grab our temperature data. Or is this a... Now this is a crew report, isn't it? Yeah, we're supposed to grab a crew report. Crew report are right there. All right, let's get a little height so we don't crash into the ground anytime soon. Okay, I want to get the rest of the ones that are temperatures. Oh God, there's so many. Um, oh, we grabbed all the temperature survey ones. There's only the crew report ones left. And they're on a different, I think I'll come back and do those. We got two of our missions complete. Um, and it'd take a lot of Delta V to swing those around. And I feel like this is, oh, we can grab one more, can't we? No, activate navigation. So let us adjust our orbit then. It's gonna be normal, not anti-normal. We want more normal. I think that's really gonna be where it is. So I'm pretty sure this will bump us up to the north and it will. We did talk about landing just for fun. I don't know. Oops, stay with it. There we go. We may actually need to burn a little anti-normal because the planet's rotating this way, so we actually want to have a trajectory that's more like this. I know we're just wasting fuel. We got 1,700 in our next stage. Our next stage. Not this stage. Our next stage. So, not super concerned. Yet. That can change rapidly. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and dash over here. Make sure we don't do the dumb thing again. We select the other side of Minmus. And then we will want to burn retrograde so we can come down a bit. So we need to be below 4,900 meters. And we are in the site. Very nice. Burning off our horizontal speed, and that should do it. Maybe we'll maybe we'll land here too, just for fun. So we are still coming in. We just need to go below. Was it 4900? I said, yeah. So this is a good landing. I don't know. Feels like we've been in this area before. I think we probably have used up our biomes. Uh, we are two and a half minutes from a relative touchdown. So we need to get, probably want to slow ourselves down a bit too. We are on the other side of the planet from, this thing's only a hundred kilometers thick. Uh, let's go ahead and burn off some of that speed get below 4900s and we'll log this last bit of data burn off the last of this fuel touch down for fun and then go home and there we go no oh, wait this is a crew report burn off that speed Be nice to be able to land on the slopes. Seems like that's going to be, by nature, pretty tricky. Uh, meters legs extended 
400 meters. Uh, third stage disassembled. <laughs> you know, actually, what we need to do is we need to land up here. So probably to the north a bit. Get up on this flat part. And then we can walk over here and see if we can't grab stuff on the slopes. That is a significant hill, as we can see. Should be just enough. I'm going to do a quick save. All right, coming back down on a easier trajectory it feels like here. Four meters per second, 120 meters up. Ah, is it finally done? <laughs> 80 meters, 70 meters, 50 meters, 30, 20, 10 meters. And touchdown. Nice, smooth, minimus landing. Quick save. Let's get Jeb out for a second. No! Jeb's dead. No. <laughs> All right. Jump. I'm gonna head back over here to the slopes. I've always wondered if I could put a Kerbin in orbit just with his jetpack. Nice, smooth jab landing. Good job. Uh, I'll take a surface sample. Uh, we've gotten this before. Um, we've gotten the slopes before. Where were we over here? These are the lowlands. Yeah. 90% sure we've gotten the lowlands before. And put you back on the ground. Yep, we've gotten the lowlands before. Oh, yeah. Now we'll still take it. That's no good. All right. I think what the game is telling us is, dude, my dude, you have explored Minmus. You have to stop. And that is fair. But we, as long as we have the science material stuff, we'll go ahead and grab what little we can. And we will... Grab and board. Eh, yeah. I'll take it. And we'll do our grab metrics and we will do a barometer reading doesn't do us any good log temperature which doesn't do us any good and I think we'll go home all right so that was pretty successful uh, we turn on SAS we will throttle up the engines track the landing gear turn to 90 degrees Why did my solar panels stop being extended? Did I never extend these out? Oof. Well, I mean, I was burning the engine enough, it was probably fine.
kind of like looking at this. I'm gonna. F no. Yeah. Looks like we're just flying over past the side of a building or something. Like this is down and this is this is up. This is some giant slope that just careens off into nothingness. Like yeah. Like it's a mountain instead of a a moon. Just you'd be up here and you'd just fall right down. Into the Okay. Alright, I'm being poetic again. Or silly. Silly, that's the one. Dumb. Uh, we will warp to our Apple apps, where we will burn a little prograde to make sure we don't go crashing back into Minmus. Do a quick save, because sometimes I do dumb things. Warp to that. There we go. A gentle burn to bring the periapsis above you know, a small hill. Twenty K ought to be good, and then let's go home. Uh, I know somebody told me the best place to do this, but I have forgotten. Probably more around here. There we go. Well, at least then we have a uh, trajectory that gets us into Kerbin, and we have, you know, a ton of Delta V. So we can just burn um, back into the atmosphere. Does that crash us into the planet? Is it always a good question? All right, we are three minutes away. Burn that time right away. I know also I saw the comment and I think I do know this about you know getting most efficient burn by waiting till halfway. Um, that makes sense. Uh, I just put too much gas in the tank all the time and like I'm so super selective about when I care about efficiency and when I suddenly do not. <laughs> But I do appreciate the comment, as always. How far? Off? This is a day to get over here, but that's fine. We will warp here. Get our retrograde on. Uh, our periaps is 26 million miles out from the planet, but we have 1,200 delta V, so I assume we'll be able to pull that in nicely. Get a random mun encounter. down to about oof, another money encounter is not what I want go away mun please go away mun Jesus I think I had an encounter oh my god mun you're the worst all right, well, we have a thousand Delta V, so we'll get the brief Mun encounter and then we'll get slingshot into Carbon. Cannot warp so far. Slowly falling. Stupid Mun. Two times it gets us. Work there. Get through our mun traversal. We could go get gas if we wanted. <laughs> um, we're going to be going pretty fast, but I think we got enough Delta V to slow us down decently enough. All right, we're going to do a quick save, and then we're going to go here. We are going to retract everything we're going to remember to do that 
it it really does look like we're falling right into the planet. <laughs> like we're just landing straight down, which could be a problem. This isn't necessarily the angle you want to hit an atmosphere at. Retract antenna. Eight hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand. Yeah, where? That is a bad angle. Thanks a lot, Mun. Stupid Mun. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I quick saved. Stupid money, I hate you so much. Uh, so let's try that again. Let's do a maneuver to come into the atmosphere a little less like a bullet. There we go. Which is the thing, of course, I knew I needed to do. I suspected I needed to do. And just did not feel like it. All right, let's burn that so we will get a much more reasonable carbon encounter. All right. Coming in like a major league cur curveball. Curveball? A curveball. That's probably what they call them on carbon. A curveball. Their baseball players throw curb balls. That is weirdly hard to say. Okay, do all this again. Retract our solar panel, retract our solar panel, retract our communications device. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna worry. Well, you know, we might actually be able to set this up so we can come in relatively close to Kerbal Space Center. We'll see. And we're going to be going retrograde let the atmosphere do its thing for a bit we're still a minute out of our periaps wow we still are going fast enough that we actually would it looks like we would just slingshot right out like if we weren't in the atmosphere that would just be like vroom. Oh, we got no chance of coming in at Kerbal Center unless we actively start burning now, actually. I was thinking it was this one, but it's this one. So we will just burn hard as long as we have fuel. It'll slow us down nicely, if nothing else. Four hundred delta V, still in the tank. Apple apps, not even in the atmosphere yet. Horizontal speed still two point four kilometers per second. Finally, have a full-on curb and encounter. Now, and that's it. That's all the gas we got. We will eject the stage, and we will try and hold retrograde. Keep burning off that speed. Cannot see where... where is Kerbal Center? It's very dark. Uh, oh, it's to our south, so it's more... Oof. More over there somewhere. Oh, you know, we're actually pulling it in. We might not land as far away as we thought. The uh, atmosphere is doing a good job of slowing us down. <clears throat> Dropping under two kilometers per second. And we are below it. This is going to be a night nightfall, so not going to be a lot to look at there. 
Except just to make sure we're not overheating, I'll do a quick save and I will time warp. At this point, a quick save is sort of irrelevant. Not much I can do anyway. There's Kerbal Space Center. Tiny little pixels of white over here. And we are almost under a kilometer per second. Very good. Nice. That actually is going to work out fine. We're almost in position to jettison, not jettison, don't jettison the parachutes, deploy. Deploy the parachutes. And we can deploy, not jettison, those parachutes now. And we will land just off the coast. Quick save. 10 kilometers up. 7 kilometers up. 5, 4, Three, two, and deploy the other chutes around 500 feet again, I think, just because it takes too long otherwise, for my personal taste. There we go. Deploy the chutes, and we are under 400 meters up. 300. Nice, easy descent for Jeb, who spent a lot of time around Minmus. A lot of time. I don't want to go back to Minmus anytime soon. I am sick of Minmus. I am officially over it. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Welcome home, Jeb. All right, what did we get? We got a bunch of science, so we're up to 590 science. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got 95% of our value back. We are over 3 million. Like I said, I did a couple of a couple of missions on my own, plus a ton of Minma stuff means we can upgrade R&D. And we can buy something cool. We should go ahead and just get very heavy rocketry because we can just afford it. We'll get the Kerbidine KE-1 Mastodon. The Mammoth, the uh, Rhino, and the S3 KS25 Vector. I don't know which of these are new. This thing is a hundred, or, oh, what is it? 936, it costs 18,000. So this thing lifts at basically a thousand kilonewtons compared to the mainsail. Well, it's, what, 1379 kilonews. So why is this any, this, uh, that's not better. Um, <laughs> doesn't need to be better, mind you. Uh, 295 and 315 versus 285 and 310. It's slightly more efficient. Thrust is 1379. Why would I ever choose this? All right, why would I choose this? The gimbling, oh, the vectoring range is 10. That that's it versus two. Yeah, that's it. This gives you a lot more. Yeah, vector. Okay, that makes total sense then. The Rhino is the really powerful one. It has 1200 kilonewtons, uh, 205 versus 340 ISP. Oh, it's more efficient too. Wow. Okay, cool. And the Mammoth, of course, lifts 3700 kilonewtons pretty beefy i think this is a new one right the mastodon some of these are new some of them aren't um yeah let's grab those do we want to grab those what else have we got could get really fancy on the tanks oh the adapter tank is kind of cool super heavy though wow this curbidine fuel tank costs fifty-one thousand. nuts uh, what are other other options here? Okay, so docking ports and uh, couplers, composites is lots of structural stuff, which is cool. High altitude flight is that. This is all plane stuff. This is fancy landing gear and the command seat uh, for a telescope scanning scanner. This is the fancier probe. What do we have over here? Automation gets us a mech jab. 
a drone core, a com fancy communicatron, and a fuel cell array and a rechargeable battery bank. I think we will just, I mean, we just want power. We just want lifting authority. Uh, so we'll grow and grab that. And then what next? Um, talk to me about Eve for a second. What is our next? So we're a year away from the next good transfer window. Nope, nope. Let's cut that. Let's add a couple. Let's add one for um, transfer window from Kerbin to Duna again. So we'll need to wait till year three to get to that. Let's add a transfer window for Eve. Nope. Kerbin to Eve. Uh, that is nine days. Oh! Oh, dude, it's time to go to Eve. Uh, interesting, 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 interesting. That is very cool. We should go to Eve. I mean, that seems obvious. Like, we're nine days away from it. Do we send people? people i'm sorry that is that's racist that is that is i don't know i don't i don't even know why i said that do we send kerbins uh it would be great if we had some stuff no i'm done i'm not going back uh does anybody want to go to eve mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh how simple is this like i'm kind of over suborbital flights Uh, I mean, we could just do it, and that would be fine. Just, just do it. I'm not going back to Minmus. We're all done with surface outposts. We're all done with flags. Like, give me a right click that just said, "Can I?" Oh, can I? Yeah, I can decline it. Oh, you know what? There is a button. No. Um, no asteroids. Give me Eve. No more Minmus. Uh, where's the suborbital flight? Did I already get rid of that one? Oh, I kind of want to do that. I always like the rescue mm -hmm. ones. And you get a new Kerbin, too. Um, I don't want to do temperature surveys. I don't want to do suborbital flights. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could do that. That's super simple. I mean, it's only 6,200. All right, so they're not going to give me anything for Eve, so that's fine. We'll just go to Eve anyway. We don't even need your stupid missions. Dumb mission control. Um, you don't know anything. We Our launch pad is fully upgraded. Our tracking station is fully upgraded. Our R&D is fully upgraded. Um, we have some other stuff we can do, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. We got some stuff done. I mean, it was it was work. We did some work. Is what I'm saying. Uh, until next time, as always, my name is Sean Sands. Thank you for joining me for Kerbal Space Program. I pressed a button. I didn't mean to press. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you again real soon.